Senior journalist Nalini Singh now joins me on the broadcast from our National News Centre in Delhi. Uh, Nalini Singh, is the vote for Narendra Modi at Patna Sahib, is the vote for Shatrugan Sinha? These are extremely crucial elections, 40 seats of Bihar, extremely crucial and a do or die battle, whether it's the JDU, the RJD or the BJP, ma'am. I think that um, you're asking about uh, Shatrugan Sinha's uh, constituency. I think here uh, they are banking on the Modi factor. And um, Shatrugan Sinha himself is saying that, please check my record. Uh, when a candidate is saying that, obviously, um, they, maybe there was an expectation by the electorate that he could have done more. He, he has visited. This I know that he does visit Patna very often. and. Uh, he is also up against an AAP candidate, Praveen Amanullah, who was uh, yes. until recently a JDU minister and who also has, uh, you know, whose uh, family has been in the uh, administrative service. So Praveen Amanullah would not yes. be a walkover. Um, but on the other hand, uh, Shatugan Sinha is also being given a good fight by the Congress candidate. I think over here, um, Shatru Gan's uh, popularity as a, 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 a person who is so uh, good with dialogues and he's um, uh, obviously a very affectionate towards the electorate. Now we have to see whether that really matches the electorate's expectations. But I think, Gaurav, for me, wh what is more salient is that this is a fight uh, which is of extremely great political prestige of Nitish Kumar and Lalu Yadav. Absolutely. I think more than anything else, these two, uh, these two political leaders have got a lot at stake. Of course, BJP has a lot at stake because it should win. It will try to win each one of these seven of the 40 constituencies that's going to the polls today. But as far as political future is concerned, uh, RJD, JDU have got, their leaders have got a lot at stake today. Uh, this is what I yes. what I see from uh, uh, you know from observing uh, just you the seven constituencies. On.